Oh, this is such an exciting fight, folks. Jake Stark, Resurrection MMA. 61 kilos, bantamweight. He's an absolute powerhouse at the weight category. Cuts a huge amount of weight. Walks around a lot heavier and performs very, very well. Louis Clark, though, rough diamonds. He's no slouch, and he comes in every time with a very, very excellent myriad of striking and attacking. And he's coming out to Bob Marley. You can't hate that. Jake Stark in great shape. Clark in great shape. Clark versus Stark. Clark catches the kick, comes forward. Jake Stark doing exactly what he does in his wheelhouse, taking him down all the time. Yeah, and he's been fighting amateur MMA since 2017, Steve. That's such a long, so much experience. He's beat, you know, battering champions, Antonio Luca. And look at that, that's the experience right there. You see him wrapping up the legs, crossing his feet. This is the new evolution of MMA right there. Controlling yep, people on the ground. Stacking them up. Clark doing well to try to get his legs back in. He's in the half guard. Now he's got a wrap in the guillotine. He might be able to use that to stand up and possibly reverse the situation. Oh, he looks to set up a triangle from there. Rubber guard, I think, Steve. This is one of your favorite positions. And that's why. Exactly why. However, look almost on it again and he's going for a cheeky little reverse triangle very interesting uh, start doing well to control that control the far far arm looked like he Ooh. almost had a buggy choke coming there steve but start. no he's in a north south choke he's just getting a little deeper as he comes up on top he's got the body lock now does clark and stark is taken to the mat what an impressive turnaround by lewis clark he's got to settle his weight backwards otherwise stark is going to be able to pull his head into that reverse but he doesn't get it there now we've got Clark on top and Stark working hard to get back up to his feet as Clark lands a couple punches and he's under the chin no he wasn't under the chin pardon me he's got a hook in though yeah he's doing a, what a reversal I mean he was on the bottom taken down legs wrapped and he's turned it around so well that he is now on the back of Jake Stark the very experienced Jake Stark Jake Stark's got a lot of experience here yeah, and he's coming off, I mean, Jake Stark's coming off a loss, but on the Cage Warriors Academy, one of the biggest shows in the country. Trying to get back in that win column. Yeah, he's in trouble here against Lewis Clark. Oh, can he buck him forward? Lewis Clark's weight was a little bit too far forward there, but he's adjusted. Sits back on the heels. He's just punching in. He's trying to punch under the chin, which he does, almost. Oh, seems so like. Close. Very close. To Anything under the, the nose is a choke to me, baby. Oh, it's looking pretty tight. Nah, I don't. Uh, it does look tight now. Oh, it's more Jake doing well to turn his yeah. turn his chin into the crook of the elbow, and he reverses <laughs> it. <laughs> what a backwards and forwards fight this is turning into be. And we're seeing Clark again trying to isolate that arm, possibly looking for triangles like we saw earlier in the round, but 15 seconds remain. And now Jake Stark's on top looking for a guillotine. Yeah, we're 15 seconds. Go. Oh, that I'll elbow very high. Time. And that's oh, a oh, that is excellent. An incredible, out, out. like I said in the run-up, folks, Jake Stark is incredibly strong, and he does that by almost ripping the head off of Lewis Clark. Back and forth there in the grappling exchange here. Jake Stark is victorious this evening. 
with a guillotine just at the very end of the first round. And you might know the history of the French guillotine used in the French Revolution, a descending blade that chopped the heads off of its victims. Well, we saw it almost perfectly reenacted there by Jake Stark. If Lewis Clark was five foot four when he entered the ring, probably closer to five six, he's probably closer to five nine now. Much taller as he's completely extended out in that choke from Jake Stark. Another first round finish. We gotta go to our official announcement by Chris Fenson.